Good morning. Welcome back into Morning Moments with Jesus once again. As we do this devotion this morning, we are talking about our dreams and the things that the Lord has given us in our lives that we've just always wanted to do or always wanted to accomplish. You know, when we're children, we have different dreams and aspirations and they may change from one year to the next of what we want to become or what we want to do in our lives. But then there comes a point in our lives when we settle into this maybe one particular thing in your life that you've just always wanted to do or always wanted to accomplish. You feel like the Lord has placed that dream in your life to to not only fulfill your life, but to, to fulfill a purpose that God has for your life and for other people around you. And as we go about through our lives, we... We get distracted sometimes. We we let life get in the way, as we call it. And before long, a lot of time passes by. And then we look around and we say, you know what? I've never done that. I've never fulfilled that dream, that longing that I have for my life. That one thing that I feel like God has always wanted me to do or get involved in. I've just always, uh, just it's always seemed to elude me. And I've never been able to. To accomplish that one thing in my life. Well, if that's you this morning, the Lord wants you to to zero in on this devotion to say, you know what, I'm going to fulfill the dream that the Lord has placed in my life. And so I come to you this morning from Psalm 37, verses 4 and 5, where I believe the psalmist is really talking about this, among other things. Listen to what it says. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and He shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way unto to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. See, what happens in our lives is we get busy in life. We, we begin to take on responsibilities, and we begin to to just start navigating through life and then one day turns into the next. And before you know it, all these years have passed by and you still haven't fulfilled that dream that you know is supposed to be a part of your life. And what happens along the way is there's what I call dream killers that get in the way. Uh, They are set there sometimes by the enemy. They are set there just by life in general. But what they do is they begin to rob you of the ability to fulfill that dream. One of the biggest dream killers we have is excuses. Uh, you, you, you begin to make excuses. I'll wait till the children are grown or I'll wait till this happens or you know, I'll, I'll get around to it. And then before long, one excuse turns into another. But the Lord said he is faithful that no excuse will be able to get in the way of fulfilling your dream if you delight yourself in Him and commit your ways to Him. He will always make enough time to fulfill the purpose that He has placed in your life. Another big dream killer that comes our way, if we're honest, is our own self-worth. We feel like that kind of dream that, that God has placed in your life is for somebody else, somebody who's more qualified, somebody who has a better understanding or a better aptitude. We always think other people can accomplish great things, but not us. But the Lord put that dream in you. And I'm here to tell you this morning, God knows what He's doing. And you may not have chosen Him. He chose you to put that dream in. And if He chose you to put that dream in, He says He shall bring it to pass. A lot of times we are f- afraid that we will fail if we step out on faith and begin to do that one thing that we've always desired to do. What if we fail? Well, I'm here to tell you this morning, based on the Word of God and my own personal experience with fulfilling dreams and visions, is that if God placed it in you and you step out on faith to accomplish it, you can't fail. Because it's God's dream placed in you, not your dream. And so when that happens, I'm not talking about things in life that you want to do that are contrary to the will of God. 
I'm talking about the things in life that you have always wanted to fulfill that you know would please God and that you have they have been placed there by God. So it's never too late to fulfill that dream, that dream that God has placed in your life. So I'm going to pray a blessing over you this morning, not only for your your household and your family and your health and and your, and your finances, and your jobs, and all of the things that I always beseech the throne of God for, the morning moments with Jesus family, the Sunrise Chapel family, the extended family around the world that listens to our devotions. But I also want to pray this morning that whatever that dream is, whatever it is that you say, I've just never got around to doing this one thing that I've always wanted to do, and always know that God wanted me to do. I pray this morning for a spirit of boldness, a desire, and a passion to do it, that no excuse can stop, that no lack of self-worth can stop, and no fear of failure can quench. I want you to be safe today. I want you to be strong. But I also want you to know that you have been blessed with a dream, a dream that only God can bring to pass. So delight yourself in the Lord, and He shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your ways into the Lord and trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. So go out today and take the first step in fulfilling that dream. Have a great day.